the power of a look. They all want something from you. That's the truth. They might not say it. It might not be written in their faces, but it's there, underneath. I learned that when I was a kid. The way my dad spoke to my mum. The way he only spoke to her when he wanted something. Needed something. And she would just do it. No questions asked. One look and it was done. Makes me sick. That's why I grew up watching. Not defiance. Not expression. Not power. Not for them anyway. Women. Girls. Me mum, me sister, me friends, me. We were just all there to be seen, to be watched, to do as we are told, to deliver what is wanted of us, from us. He was just another, no different from the rest, just a man, just like them. He thinks he has more power. He thinks he is ancient and endless and maybe he is, but that don't make him any different. I knew what he wanted. Right from the start. That's what they don't see. What they don't know. They're so transparent. He thought it would be easy. He thought he could just take. He thought he'd given me something I wanted so I'd repay the favour. Funnily enough, I never wanted his gift. I never wanted anything from him. But it don't work like that, does it? Not been there involved. Not when there's some higher power, if that's what they are. Gods, goddesses, power. They're all just words. But I couldn't disobey. Couldn't spurn a gift from a god. I'd bring shame on my family, on myself, on all of us. <laughs> Either way, a fallen woman. I knew what he wanted in return. Of course I did. He's got a reputation. The player god. Always gets what he wants. Who he wants. I don't care about the consequences. I won't be just another notch on his celestial bedpost. People say I was stupid, a fool, a silly girl. That pushed a god to rage and paid the price. My curse. To see the future and never be believed. To see disease and death and drought and plague and be laughed at in the street. I gave my gift away, they say. Apollo gave me the gift of prophecy and I threw it away out of spite because I decided I didn't want its celestial cock in my cock. Stupid girl, they say. Got what she deserved.
they all forget. I already had Apollo's gift. I could see the future. I could see it all laid out. A moment, a choice. His lips on mine, his arms close in. I know what's coming and I know what will happen if I resist. Which curse is worse? Let him curse me in vengeful rage or curse myself to a life of knowing I did not resist. The look on his face is unforgettable. A man who's never been rejected. He hated me and not because I spat in his mouth. He hated me because I knowingly chose a life of mockery, of laughter, of contempt, of pity. I chose this life, my life, instead of him. Instead of unwanted flesh on mine, I chose to never be believed. I smiled in that moment. I smiled to think of him. The moment when he knew his curse could never touch me, never hurt me. Because I had always known what was coming. It was written on my face. The power of a look.